cut sound. Yes. Okay. Okay, Yang Ching Fu's Corrections, Volume 3. And we're into the third third. All this is the same. Only correction we have so far is in doing the single whip on the diagonal. You've got to make sure your feet are correct. Because we, this is the only time we do a single whip anywhere else other than to the west. We're doing it to the whatever that is. Northwest, I think. Southwest. Northwest. Doesn't matter. You've got to make sure you get this foot out far enough. Don't bring it over here because that's going to be an incorrect stance for the whole rest of the form. You've got to make sure when you bring it out and when you drag this toe around, there's got to be an east-west line between that heel and that front toe with your single whip stance. Some people are doing it like to here, so you don't get that line, see? The next thing is in doing uh, slant flying, you've got to make sure this, this movement here, there's absolutely no sitting back in order to do that movement before the slant flying. You've got to make sure that you're even. See how I push down even more into the heel so as to make sure I will, there is no aspect of that and then rocking back onto it. A lot of people do it, but it's absolutely incorrect. You must sink. That's part of the qigong of this particular posture is to sink into that heel because it gives you ground. And doing this, no ground. That makes the form easy to do. And you don't want it easy, you want it to be difficult. So it's got to be, think physically about, in the beginning, just think about even dropping down lower onto that front foot. That really puts you all your weight on, onto your front heel when you do that particular turn. This bit seems to be okay. Your arms are like little train lines. This is okay. Make sure it's the heel and the toe off the ground together. Up. Sweep it around so that when you do drag this foot around again, you've got a northwest line between your heels because it's a corner stance, slant flying, see? It's northwest line between your heel and your toe. That bit seems to be okay. This is the next, the next bit is the thing that a lot of people get incorrect in both old Yang style and Yang Ching Fu's form. I'll make sure you don't open up too much here. Make sure that wrist is still in your center. It's like Pung, except it's, the hand is rotated a little bit. When you turn this foot, make sure the whole body, it's difficult. See where I'm turned to? I'm really getting a good twist between my waist and my hips. I'm turned right down here towards the south. Don't be tempted to make it easier. Just go uh, like that and then out, you see? Must make sure you sink down onto your front heel again. Don't sit back at all to do this. That's incorrect. You must sink right into your front heel again and really twist. So you're looking straight down here towards the south. And that makes this next move, and this foot should be pointing towards the south. This makes the next move much more difficult in order to pick, up, pick that foot up. You do roll it up, but now you've got to place it. Don't place it too far over this way. It's got to be placed just there, and that's the difficult part. Most people tend to go, because that's easy. They're not going to lose balance doing it that way. But doing it this way, there's always the danger of uh, losing balance, you see. So from here, pick up your heel and just bring it through. Just let your foot, once again, it's a pendulum, see, look. Let your heel come up and then just let it roll through, you see. So from here, just let it ah, go to where it wants to go. Now, when you do the next move, see, you've got heel and toe in line again for the next uh, slant flying. Again, same thing here. Weight on your front heel. Turn right around here. Twist, really twist right around. To the north here. Then pick your heel up and just let it pendulum. See if I go like this, wrong, I've taken the steps going to be all out of place. You just let your heel roll up and just let your, like as if you've got you know a prosthesis on, on your leg, so you know that's how a person with one with a false leg has to walk because it's just a spring, boom. So they could do Tai Chi very well probably. So let it heel come up and then just let it boom. Just let it go where it wants to, and that will give you the exact correct stance for the next movement. Okay, thank you, Moss. Just make sure when you're doing this.